Greetings, greetings from the Empowering Temple of Praise Church, currently being constructed at 3615 Reed Street, Fort Worth, Texas, 76119. Welcome to another Sunday morning worship service in the beginning of a new year. I'm so glad you joined us and those who are watching that are not live. Hey, I'm glad you decided to listen to the message that God has at the beginning of 2022. Prayer has already been made and offered up to God. Let's go ahead and get into this word. Go ahead and invite somebody that you may not see on um, online at this service because God is about to bless you with a wonderful message beginning this new year. We are still here. We are still here. We are still here. Let's go ahead and get into this word. There's a word from the Lord in the book of Isaiah. Prophet Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 through verse 21. Isaiah chapter 18 as you were. Chapter 43 verses 18 through 21. Of course, I will be reading from the Be It V, Break It Down version. Here is what is recorded in God's word according to the prophet Isaiah. Forget the things that happened in the past. Oh, I can stop right there, right? But let me move on. Forget the things that happened in the past. Do not keep on thinking about them. Verse 19, I am about to do something new. Look at somebody and say something new, something new, something new. I don't give your husband, your Sancho, your Sancho, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your children, uh, uh, the person you're shacking up. Just go ahead and just say, hey, God is about to do something new. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. I'm about to do something new. It is beginning to happen even now. Don't you see it coming? I'm going to make a way for you to go through. Oh, I love that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the desert. I will make streams of water in dried up places and empty places. Mm, I will provide. That is because I provide water in the desert for my people to drink. I call streams to flow in the dry and empty land for my chosen ones. And here is, oh, I love this, verse 21. Here it is, watch this. It says, I do it for the people I have created. He, he created all of us, right? He, he, he's doing this for his children. But, but why are you doing it, God? Here it is. He says, because I want them to sing praises unto me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Y'all already know what the word is about. Using for a subject from which to preach in the first Sunday of 2022 that God has blessed us all to see. Getting rid of old stuff in the new year. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's time to do some 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 house cleaning, some some some. They say spring cleaning. We need to do some New Year cleaning. But let's. Let, I, I love this because the other day, I was. I think it was last night. Yeah, I think it was last night. I was just going through. God, what would you have me to to deliver to uh, uh, my sisters and brothers, your your children? And 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 I receive a, a message that I want to share with you because it blessed me. It was talking about um, this this blind boy who was sitting in the uh, front of a building and he had a sign being held up, right? And the sign read, "I'm blind. Help." Watch this. I'm blind. Help. So a man walked by, Christian. You know, he loved God, and he looked inside the little boy's hat, and it was about three nickels in there. And he was like, I don't understand this. And then he said, hmm. So he grabbed the little boy's sign. He turned it over, got the little boy's marker, and he wrote something on the sign. He handed it back to the little boy and said, hold the sign up now. The little boy didn't understand it because he's blind, right? But after the man walked off, Folks begin to put coins and bills into the little boy's hat. Later on that evening, the man walked back by because he wanted to give another donation to the little boy. And the little boy watched this, 
remembered the smell because blind folks have good smell, smell senses, right? So he remembered the cologne. He said, excuse me, sir. He said, are you the man who grabbed my sign earlier and, and told me to now hold it up after you have changed what I had written? And the man said, yes. And the little, the little blind boy said, well, can you tell me what you wrote? Watch what the man said. The man said, I, 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 um, Told the truth. He said, but I know, but what did, what did you write, though? Did, did you, how could you write something different because I am blind? He said, well, no, I told the truth. I wrote pretty much the same thing you wrote, but I just changed the wording. Oh, my goodness. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. So the little boy said, well, can you share with me what's on the sign? And the man said, this is what I wrote on your sign. You had, I'm blind help. I just changed that to, today is a beautiful day, but I can't see it. And it was at that moment when people walked by, they began to not dwell on the boy's blindness, but on the thanksgiving that they had knowing that they could enjoy a beautiful seeing day and he couldn't. And that allowed not them to focus on the boy, but to focus on them. I said that to say this, no matter what this year brings to you, because God is doing something new, but no matter what it brings to you, I always remember that there's always somebody out there who's worse off than you. I know we say that it sounds cliche, is right? It sounds like, it, it, oh, people say that all the time. No, it's real. There's always so I don't care who it you I, I had somebody try to test me on it, right? Well, what about the boy that don't have legs? And I told them there's somebody that don't have arms. What about the boy that don't have arm or legs? And I told them well, that's he's still breathing. Go, what, what about the person that ain't breathing? Well, if they ain't breathing, they ain't here. That's it's, I, I, there's always somebody worse off than you are. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you're going to face in 2022, we have to understand that that little boy, that blind boy situation should tell us all about ourselves. Because there are going to be some folks that, 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 that we look at and God specifically show them to us because we are not in a Thanksgiving mindset. I raise my hand first because there have been many a time that that I begin to complain and feel disheartened about something, and God will open up my eyes and say, "Look over there," and I say, "Oh man, well I thought I had it bad. I thought I had a problem. I thought I had an issue. I thought my house was in disorder. I thought my car was raggedy. I I thought my body was racked with pain." But if you really understand God and our Father. You know that he loves us so much that he will not allow us to be tempted above that we are able to bear. So that any time we get in a situation, God said, I will always provide a way out of it. Oh, I love that. I love that because when I read that story, it blessed me because there have been many a time I would think that I was in this, this disarray situation and shake my head and, and bow my head down in sadness and God has to lift it back up and show me somebody else who would like to trade. Bishop, you think you got a problem? Well, let's, let me trade you with that person over there who says they have a problem. And then we look at it and we say, well, no, I'm, I'm good, God. I ain't going to complain. I thank you. I'm good. And that's what we all need to dwell on. That's what that story depicts um, for all of us that we need to dwell on just being thankful for where we are. Just being thankful for what we have. Just being thankful for who we are. Because we are God's children and no matter what happened in 2022, we are still here and we are here for a reason. Let me move on because 2021 had some good events. Let me tell you what I saw God do in 2021, which is, you would think is shocking, right? Because God says he's going to do even more things, even better things, even greater things, uh, even mightier things in 2022 for his children. And, 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 and I'm like, man, how can God do that? I shouldn't be able to ask that, right? Because God is awesome. He's all powerful. But I've seen him do some wonderful things in 2021. Like what, Bishop? Glad you asked. Here's what I've seen. I've seen him. One thing that kind of made me sad, he took 
uh, uh, allowed one of my I've eat top family members to go home and, and be in his presence. Well, you say, that ain't sad, is it? Who wouldn't want to be in God's presence? I got you, but the physical ability to go hug on my brother is no longer there. So I have to remember all those things that, that the time I shared with him that blessed us, I have to remember that. Uh, but God still was in the midst of it, right? Uh, when God brings someone home, we sad, but we are not thinking about how glad they are. Uh, we, we would be selfish enough to say, hey, come back. And they'll tell us, no, you don't know where I am. Because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And who wouldn't want to be present with the Lord? So, so I, he, I've seen them do that last year. But all the things I've seen, I've seen folk get houses they didn't think they were going to get. I don't know if that's you, but I promise you, I've seen folk get houses for, in their name. They've been living in a rental house. They've been living in apartments and then think they could get houses. And God said, pay y'all, this year is your year to get a house. I've seen folks who first time they had cars in other folk names. But this past year, they got vehicles in their name. It's got the, the registration and title with their name on it and not somebody else name it. I, I own it. I seen, I seen in 2021 where God provided hope for hopeless folk. I seen where he brought folks out of incarceration where they had been for 12, 13, 10, 15 so years and brought them out and it seemed like they ain't been there because he, he dressed them up so and, and got them with the light shining on them because they love them and trust them that they they don't even look like they've been in prison. I, I've seen where, where God uh, um, restored marriages where it seemed like they were going to break up, get divorces, and go on about their business, but God stepped in and restored marriages that, that folks thought they were going to be broken up with. I, I've seen where, where God um, just provided help to folk that the doctor said, I don't know what we're going to do about it. I don't think... She going to make it. I don't think he going to make it. There's nothing else we can do. And, and before they were able to go to hospice, God restored them. I, God has done some mighty things in 2021. And I look back and I say, wow, but God, you are telling us that you're getting ready to do something even better in 2022. What? I'm looking for, I, it's, it's amazing now. I, I'm just so overwhelmed because when God shared that with me, I, I was, I, I, mean, I can't say I was in disbelief because he's God. But the fact that I've seen some mighty things in 2021 and God is saying he's going to do better and greater in 2022. Oh my, it's like blowing my mind. God, I've seen some stuff happen in 2021 and you saying that ain't nothing. God is saying, yes, forget about that old stuff because I am about to do something new and greater in 2022. And here it is. Some of y'all going to miss it. What you mean, Bishop? Glad you asked. Some of y'all going to miss it because you going to always focus on the past and God is not going to be able to bring you the new. You're going to always focus on the old. So it's going to be difficult for God to bring in the new. You know what? Some of you got the mindset, and it may not be y'all. It may be your cousin that ain't watching. But here's the deal. Some of y'all are not going to get the new thing that God wants to give in 2022. Because you are not doing what Isaiah said in the beginning of this first text. Uh, you need to forget about the old stuff. I know some of y'all say that's hard to do though because they keep bringing it up. Don't matter what other folk do, it's you. You, you know, it, what you decide is your decision. That's your choice, right? Somebody can cuss you out, but your decision would determine what happened there. You'd be like, well, I wouldn't have done it if they, they, they didn't cuss me out. No, no. When somebody cuss you out and they call you a bee and an MF and a dog and a, and, a, and a hoe and all, if you know that you're not, it shouldn't bother you, but people will let it bother them, and then all of a sudden they get in the fight. Now they got a record. They salt, they got assault on the record. They got all this stuff. They got to pay fines, and they spend the night in jail. Got late for the job, job fire, all this stuff, and it goes right back to the decision that you made when they first called you. What you know, you ain't. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to help somebody because your decision is your decision. Nobody forces you to do nothing. Matter of fact, God, He don't even force us to trust Him. He say it's up to you. Do you want? to trust me it's up to you but if you do here's what you're gonna get a new thing 
in 2022. Oh my goodness, here it is, here it is. I love this because when I looked at this, this text, it, it reminded me that some folks are, are, are not able to receive the new thing because they'll get distracted. This is what the enemy does. Some of you can raise your hand and some of you understand this. This is what the enemy, and he's still going to try to do it in 2022. But I'm going to try to help you out. The enemy is going to try to distract y'all with all types of problems. There are folks, some of you with marital problems. Some of you want your husband back. Some of you want your wife back. Some of you want the girlfriend back, the boyfriend, all these different things. Some of you, or, 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 you know, want to stay on this job. I mean, all different things is, is going on. You want this, want that, want this. God says some of the stuff you got to forget about because it's, it's like you get a brand new pair of white tennis shoes. Watch this. And then you go and look in the dirty clothes, get out the dirtiest dingy socks, put them on, and then put your new brand new shoes on. That don't matter, right? That don't even sound right, right? But that's what people are doing spiritually. When they are bringing old stuff into the new year, God said, hey, I'm going to do a new thing in 2022. And you are not going to be able in, to enjoy it if you focus on the old stuff. It's in the word. It ain't just Bishop saying it. You, you, he dis, the, the enemy distracts us like, let me give you an example. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In, in the military, we, we, we got what we call uh, commands, right? More, I don't know. First lady be like, uh, lady, lady Carla be like, uh, why, why? You always bring up the military. Hey, 29 years. I can't just let that go, right? It's all in me, right? God bless me to go 29 years military, tired, grateful, thankful. But in the military, we, we have all type of marches, right? All type of commands. One of the main ones and best ones is forward march. Forward march. You're going forward. You know what, what type of command we don't have? We got all types now. We don't have backwards march. <laughs> Why? Because it doesn't fit us. We don't go backwards. We go forward. And as Christians, that should be our mindset. No, I ain't going backwards. No, I, I'm going to make a decision. And every decision I make, it's, it's going to take me and my family forward. Sometimes I may have to sacrifice, but I'm still going forward. We, we don't have backwards marches because that's backwards. Somebody say that's bad backwards. <laughs> it's backwards. You, you can't. God, but I tell, that's why you got to pray before. I told God that some stuff I know you want me to say and I don't have it written down nowhere. Just let me know. And he just told me to watch it. The other day, and I say the other day, it may have been a month ago. I was driving downtown for a word, right? Going up a one-way street. I'm, I'm going up a one-way street. And I'm driving. And I notice that's a car coming directly at me. I'm like, oh. So I move towards the right. And I slow down. And I'm like, oh, man. They don't know that they, they're going the wrong way. And, and it was an old white lady. You know, she, I don't know how old she was. But she seemed like she may have been in her 60s. I'm not good with ages. She, she could have been drinking and, and drunk and, and been 40. I don't know. But here's the deal. I, I slowed down because I'm like, man, she she driving. Watch this. Like she going the right way. I mean, she got hand at 10 and 2. And she just. And I'm like. This woman, watch this, is going the wrong way. When she thinks she's headed in the right direction. Oh my goodness, here it is. Here it is. I, I said, now, if she continues to go that way, she's going to either one, crash into something, crash into somebody else, hurt somebody else, hurt her, kill her. I mean, it's just drastic situation when, watch this, you are driving forward, but backwards. Oh my goodness. I, I'm just saying something, y'all missed it. It's a crazy thing when you think you're driving forward, but you're headed backwards. And that's what that woman was doing. And so I hung my arm. I bump up. Some people, you know, they're so focused on driving. They don't even look. And I got you. But I blew my horn. She just, the head up. And I'm looking. I'm like, ah, oh, I started to pray. God, don't let her hit nothing. I turn my rearview mirror so I can see her. 
And I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. Other cars, bump, bump. You see a man put his hand out like, hey, you're going the wrong way. She's still going. And then finally, I don't know what clicked. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, she, she, I saw her brake lights. She rec recognized and discovered that even though she was driving forward, she was headed backwards. And that's what the enemy is going to try to do to you in 2022. He going to think you, you going to think you driving forward, but you driving backwards. And the only way to not be driving forward backwards is to trust in the almighty God. Preach, Bishop, I'm trying to help somebody. Yeah, don't let the enemy think you're headed forward when you got your behind going backwards because you are not going to be able to enjoy the new thing that God has for you in 2022. I love that. I love that. But let me get through with this. Let's run through this text right quick because in this text, I love verse 18. If you if you got the, if you got the verse with me, then you understand. If not, that's okay. I got to move on. Verse 18, I love this because... It's, it's twofold. Watch this. Watch this. Verse 18 is twofold. It says, forget the things. It's verse 18, y'all. Forget the things that happened in the past. I know that's sometimes hard to do. I tr trust me. I raise my hand first. When you've been hurt, when you've been broken, when you have uh, uh, been ridiculed, beat down, not physically, but mentally, because you can be beat down mentally and spiritually, and it's worse than physically because the physical wounds are healed and you can see the healing. Oh man, that scar is drying up and it's a scab on it. Now the scab is gone and I just got a little scar there, but it doesn't hurt no more, right? But the mental and the spiritual wounds, you, you don't see those healing. You just go day by day and hopefully God would direct you to let that wound heal because it's inward, right? Though That's the most drastic Injury anybody can have a spiritual wound. That's why folk lose weight when the man or woman they love leave them. Be like, why you you lost a lot of weight? Now, I ain't I ain't one trying to. It's because there's an inward wound that affected you that it have your whole body not wanting to cooperate with what it's supposed to do. I don't even feel like eating. I don't feel like talking. I don't feel like snacking. I don't feel like doing nothing because I I. I there's an inward wound that's, that's messed me up. And here's what God says. Whether, I don't care how often you were wounded in 21. I don't care how, how, how hard you were wounded. I don't care how seriously you were wounded. He says, forget about 2021. Why, Bishop? Because I'm about to do a new thing. In verse 18, listen to it, listen to it. He says, forget the things that happened in the past. Do not keep thinking about them. Oh, my God. I can't even explain that if I tried to. Do not keep thinking about them. That's what's wrong with some of us. We can't enjoy the new thing that God has for us because we are still holding on to the old thing. No, don't go. <laughs> that's, that's somebody right now. You, you're trying to hold on to him. Don't leave. God said, you prayed and asked me to work it out for you. You thought I, he's supposed to stay. I'm trying to get him to leave because I can't give you uh, 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 the king that's, that's, that you want when you're still holding on to the scumbag. <laughs> I, I, I can't direct. Here it is. I, I think I told you. I told you at that time where, where uh, uh, Stephen King. Uh, was in L.A. Y'all know he's a writer, uh, Pet Cemetery, good movies, scary movies out there. Stephen King, right? He was he was in L.A. and he was about to cross the street. Watch this. He was about to cross the street, and y'all know Stephen King. Some of you, if you don't, he's a famous director, and um, he was about to cross the street, and it was this lady. Watch this. She was driving, and she had her dog with her in the car, right? And the lady was driving, and all of a sudden, she didn't pay attention to where she was going and almost, watch this, hit Stephen King. And she said, ah, and he got out the way. People like, oh, my goodness, she brought this word. Right. So people come up to the car, and she stopped, and she was sweating. She's like, oh, my goodness. They're like, what's wrong with you? You didn't see him. He was right there in front. She said, I, I'm sorry. I was trying to get my dog together. They're like, you're trying to get your dog? Yeah, I had my dog. I said, well, your dog? What you, what you had your dog in the front seat for? I know. I should have had him in the back, but 
I was con trying to control him. She said, and then this man who's, who's a preacher, he said, wait a minute, let me get this right. You mean to tell me you almost ran over a king because you were trying to tame the dog? You mean to tell me this dog that's no good, this dog that's giving you trouble, this dog that, that's in your front seat, this dog that's right there, you are trying to control this dog and you almost ran over the king. I'm trying to help somebody because you, right now, some of you are trying to tame the dog. Some of you are trying to hold on to the dog. And God's saying, I can't give you the king. You're going to run over the king. You're going to mistake in the king. You're going to leave the king. You're going to let the king run by you. If you are trying to hold on to the dog, let that dog go. Look at somebody and say, let the dog go. Let the dog go. Let the dog go. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Let me, let me, let me go through this. It says, it says that. If you forget the things that happened in the past, don't keep thinking about them. Verse 19, God says, I'm about to do a new thing. I'm looking at it. That's the text. This is just Isaiah 43, 18, 19. He said, if you forget the things in the past, forget about it. I ain't worrying about it. That's the past. That's 2021. Don't keep thinking about it. I like that. He didn't say, don't think about them. Watch this. He said, don't continue to think about them. See, I love how God translates this to us because some of us are saying, well, I can't help it. It's just sometimes be on my mind. Said, All right. It's, God recognizes that. What God doesn't want us to do is to continuously focus on old stuff. Because he's about to do a new thing in your life. A new, a new satisfaction period is about to come forward. And the only way you're going to be able to, to, to experience it is do what he say in verse 18. And that's don't focus and keep thinking about the past. Don't All the stuff that happened in the past, you say forget about it. Watch it. And it's twofold because he's not only talking about the things that we presume as not good. He's saying even the good things that you think happened to you in 2021 or you believe and you, you sincerely say, oh, man, I thank God for this. As y'all did on, on night watch, y'all thank God for this, that. He said, those not even good enough. He said, I don't even want you folks on those. Like, whoa, that's good. Because he said, that ain't nothing. You ain't seen nothing yet. God said, don't focus on the past. And notice he didn't say, just don't focus on the bad past. No. He said he don't even want us focusing on the good things that happened last year. Why, Bishop? Because he's about to do something bigger and better and greater and mightier and stronger in 2022. Oh, my goodness. I'm looking forward to it. It got me excited. Oh, man. I love this. I love this because he said, if you can clear your mind from the old stuff, I can open up your way of thinking for the new stuff I'm about to bring in 2022. I love that. I love that because he's not talking about just physical things. He's talking about spiritual things. Don't just focus spiritually on the old stuff as well. Don't be, don't be talking about, oh, I got this, but hey, hey I'm just glad I got me a car. Shoot. God say, but, but why not get the car that you desire? Well, I'm glad I got me a roof over my head. Why, why not let me bless you with, with a house with, with four bedrooms that you, you didn't think you would be able to get? He said, stop the old way of thinking. That's another part of forgetting about old things. The old way of thinking, because some of us think that we can't get nothing because I only make $20 an hour. I only make, God said, I, I know how much your salary is. I'm the one bless you with the job. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it, it puzzles me how we let the enemy put us down. We, we let the enemy say, well, I, I'm just a cashier. Just? God saying, do you know I know where you work? I know the benefits you have. Well, I don't have the benefits that I... God said, all of that is old stuff. Stop the old way of thinking because I'm about to do a new, greater, better, stronger, mightier thing in 2022. Oh my goodness, let me call with this because some, some of you may be wondering why why God, why is God now about to do a new thing? 
I can't answer that specifically because God does things in his own way, in his own time. But he's telling me this year is the year of new things. And, and watch this. I love this because when I read why God is deciding to do a new thing, oh, man, I shouted. It blessed me. I, I raised my hand. I clapped my hand. I mean, I sung a new song. Well, it wasn't a new song, but I sung a song that, that I love, and it blessed me, and I kept singing it. Oh, man, I'm still here was one of them, and the other one was, was um, uh, uh, God, the Leandra, Leandra song. Oh, man, it just blessed me, blessed me. And I, I was like, oh, I was just giving God praise because he's done some mighty things in 21, but he's like, Bishop, don't think about that one. That ain't nothing. The good things, all the stuff you did, God? Yeah, that ain't nothing. You ain't seen nothing yet. And, and when he told me that, you know, of course it seemed like just words. But I, well, you wait till the end. I'm getting ready to tell you how I know God is telling the truth because of what he just did. In my, Let me go through this. Watch this. Watch this. Because I'm a living witness that when praises go up, blessings go down. It, they come down automatically. I'm a living witness. Some of you can raise your hand as well and say, yeah, Bishop, I know too. Because I praise God all the time. I don't wait till I get to church. I praise him in my house. I praise him in the shower. I praise him when I'm brushing my teeth. I, 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 I may not be saying the right words, but I'm like, mm, mm, mm. God is so good to me. God is so good. I mean, I'm just, I'm just praising him. I'm just giving him praise. No matter where I am, the praises are always going up. So automatically the blessing has to come down. But God said the blessings, Bishop, that you had in 2021, they ain't nothing. I'm about to blow some of y'all cotton-picking minds because you're going to say, Oh, my goodness, my God, my Father, my Heavenly Father, He's so awesome. Watch this because God is about to do a new thing in 2022. Let me take, I'm going to close with this. Thank you. Thank you. I love this because God say, Bishop, when I tell you to end, you're going to end it. You got to be obedient, right? Here it is. Watch this because I got to bless somebody with what God just blessed me with. For those of you who don't know, I, I retired from the military, 29 years, blessing, and, and I decided with prayer and thought to go back to the post office. I say back because it's been like 17 years, hadn't worked there in 17 years, right? This is why, oh my goodness, you have to always respect, give folks respect, love, dignity, and honor no matter your status or where you are. I mean, that's what we do. That's what the Miles family do. We we love on folks. We respect folks, regardless of their situation, their status. I don't care if they're a janitor. Matter of fact, the janitor at my, my job, they we know each other by first name. Hi, good morning, Sophia. Good morning, Mr. Miles. No, call me Eric. I mean, it's it's from the manager down to the person that make the lowest salary, you got to respect them and honor them because they are still God's children. A lot of people don't know, I'm a manager, so you just a peon. No, that's what's wrong with you. And that's why God is going to bring you down and let you smell yourself. Here it is. I, I, I went back to the post office, right? And, and, and I went into an area that I hadn't worked in when I worked there 17 years ago. Went into an area, and I enjoyed it. I mean, it's feeling good. I'm like, oh, this is a wonderful thing. I, I, I was enjoying it. And the, the only thing is, I was like, man, they got me working on Sunday mornings, though. I'm like, hmm. But God said, don't worry about that. And when God tell you not to worry about it, you don't worry about it. Did I worry about it? Come on, y'all know, Bishop, I did a little bit. And I told God that. That's why you got to be honest with your prayer. Like, God, I, I know you say don't worry about it, but it's, I, I mean, I know you know what's going on. You got it under control. Just be honest with your prayer. Because I was a little worried. I'm like, this don't make sense. So when that church is built, I may have to quit, you know, because I ain't going to let no job come between me and my godly divine duty. I'm going to pass that test, God, regardless. So I looked at that, right? God said, I got you. I got you. So I'm enjoying this three months. I made my 90-day probation. It was there September. I made my 90-day probation. It was good. They, the managers loved me. Supervisors loved me. They loved the work and the dedication. It was like, gosh, but you you are, they were saying a blessing, but they did, you know, they don't use those type words there. They said, you, you have been good. We are glad to have you and glad you came to our station. I'm like, hey, appreciate it. I love your work ethic. I mean, just going on, right? Giving me praise for the work ethic. Because 
That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm like, it's nothing new. I'll come to work and work. Get the mail out to the people who, you know, put us in charge of their mail to get it from one place to the next. It's, you know, that's what that was my response. It's no big deal. It's exercise to me. But I was still elated that he gave me the praises, right? So I'm like, this is this is love. I don't know what God gonna do about signing this, but hey, I love this, love where I work, it's good, the good family atmosphere, people enjoy, they have spreads all the time. And I mean, just a good atmosphere. But watch this. On Thursday, three days ago, I was laying in the bed with Lady Carla and maybe watching sports or something, I think, Thursday night. Watching something. And got a phone call. And it was from my boss, my manager. Watch this. My manager said, I don't know what's going on. Um, this ain't never happened since I've been in the posters, post office. I'm like, hmm. Um, but they are moving you to another post office. I said, who are they? Yeah, district. It's kind of some way above my head, above my boss's head. They're moving you. I just got the email. says that you got to report to the Mark IV plant over there at Mark IV. You know where that is? I'm like, yeah. You got to report there at 2 o'clock Saturday. I'm, what about tomorrow? I don't know. Tomorrow you come here, which, you know, was Friday. Tomorrow you come here and... I mean, we would send you, you know, give you a little going away deal, but we didn't know. I just got the email and, you know, I, I don't understand. And this is my boss, right? And I'm like, he's joking. He's trying to, this, this ain't April Fool, but he, would he joke like that? He said, well, I got the email and when you come in in the morning, I'll give it to you. So my wife, she said, is that on? The supervisor, is that? I said, yeah. And she was kind of looking puzzled too because she heard the words I was saying. You moved. You just got there. They don't move folks from a customer service to processing like that. That's crazy, right? And I didn't understand it. Supervisor didn't understand it. Management didn't understand it. The manager didn't understand it. He said, watch this. Oh, I loved it. He said, this way above my head. Remember that. He, he said, this is way. <laughs> he said, this is, this is way beyond my head. Watch this. So, I'm kind of, you know, wondering. I'm like, man, God got something up going on. I don't understand it. Don't know. This is crazy. So everybody's kind of sad Friday. You know, hey, wish you well. You know, oh, we hugging. Hey, wish you well. Hey, thank you. It was nice meeting you. All these different things happening Friday. So I get home Friday. I'm kind of not understanding what's going on. So Saturday, just yesterday, watch this. Saturday. They tell me to report to uh, Mr. Smith. So I go in at 2 o'clock. I go and report. I say, I'm here to report to Mr. Smith. Sign in security because I don't have a badge. I'm a new guy here in a new place. So I go in. I'm standing in one place for an hour. No Mr. Smith. Now I'm on the clock, so I'm getting paid that $20. So, so I'm still kind of like... Damn, what's going on? Finally, after an hour, watch this. Mr. Smith come. As Mr. Smith is approaching, it looks like somebody I know. Now, we got our mask on. In the post office, we got to have a mask on. We're around mail and all type of stuff, so it's mandatory. So we got a mask on, but I can see just his makeup. And from 17 years ago, really longer than that, probably about 21 years ago, I said, man, that looked like the guy I used to work with. So when he get closer, we looking at each other. We turn our head. We kind of point at each other. I said, I said, Mike? And he looked at my badge. He said, oh, and we embrace. We, we hug. What? Now, the supervisors, because he's a manager, the supervisors that he was getting ready to tell, hey, these are new employees here, they looking at him like, what's going on? We just hugging. What? Man, whoa. This is, whoa, man, what are you, he said, what you doing? He said, you know, wait a minute, what you doing? I said, I got my hat on. I said, no, I retired, man. I, went, I left by 2004, went to the military and, and retired. I just not too long ago retired. And I said, hey, you know, I came back. I said, but I was at station and, they somehow moved me over here. He said, what, man? And then he started 
giving praises. Watch this. Just blew my mind. He started telling his supervisor that's under him, because he's the manager. He started telling the supervisor, hey, this guy right, you don't even have to train him. He knows everything. He used to be supervisor. He used to be, watch this, my supervisor. This is what he's telling. He used to be my supervisor. So they, she's looking like, huh? Yeah, yeah. He, he went to the military and just came back. And he, he, he knows this operation, I'm telling you. He's a smart dude. This guy, we got a good guy right here. You know, and I'm smiling. I say, appreciate it, appreciate it. No, no, no. This used to be my supervisor. He know everything. You don't have to train him. So the OJT guy that was supposed to train, he said, you can go and go away. He knows this stuff. And, 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 and I really do, but it's been like 17 years. But he said he knows this stuff. And so the lady said, so, I mean, are you, is he, is he going to be supervised? He's, they said, what? He said, what are you? I said, no, nah, I had to come back at the beginning because I was gone for more than five years. So I have to start at the beginning. Watch this. He leans over to my ear. He says, as soon as you learn the operation, I'm going to promote you to supervisor. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Mm. Oh, my goodness. I, I, had to, I, I had to throw a shot there. Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. I, I know y'all missed that. Y'all just missed what, what I just said. Y'all just missed that. I, I know you missed that. The first day on a new job. And God had orchestrated this from the beginning. Of course, it didn't smell right. It didn't sound right. It didn't look right. Other folks have never seen it before. My bosses at my other job had never heard of it before. I don't know what's going on. I didn't either. But God had already orchestrated a new thing at the beginning of 2022. I'm trying to help somebody because only God can do stuff like that. If you forget about the old stuff, God can bless you with a new thing in 2022. I met, oh my goodness, I couldn't, I, 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 I didn't even know what to say. I was speechless and I said, that's what's up, that's what's up, that's what's up. He said, and he pointed to me and they left. And then I went over to the machine and began, here it is, to talk to new folks. I'm new, but I began to talk to new employees about how the machine work, how the mail go, how to go this way, how what you, the safety aspects of this. And God restored the memory that I had lost back in, in 2004 and brought it back to give me the knowledge that I needed to train new folks. I didn't know about it. The managers didn't know about it. Supervisors didn't know about it. But God had orchestrated the thing that, that, that made it seem like it was weird and strange. But God said, hey, even if it sounds bad, even if it sounds crazy, even if it smells bad, even if it looks wrong, God said, if you trust me, you will see that I'm doing a new thing in 2022. Oh, glory. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Only God can orchestrate something like that because I'm going to help somebody. Because some of you are going to have some things that happen like that in your life where this happened and that happened and you don't understand it and can't nobody explain it. God say, just wait on me because in due time, in due season, you're going to understand why. Watch this. You're going to understand how and you're going to understand why this happened the way it happened. No matter what happens in your life, you're going to understand it. Like, oh, I can't believe that happened. And you know what? These fool did this. And you know what? That happened. God said, hey, I'm the orchestrator. Can't nobody orchestrate like me. I'm the one that set that thing up like it's set up. I'm the one that make things go left, right, up, front, back, before. I'm the one that make things go. Can't nothing happen without me allowing it or without me sending it. I'm God and I'm in charge. I got a new thing in 2022 waiting for you. If you just let go of all that old stuff, watch it happen. Oh, let me get out of here. That God continues to bless and keep you is my prayer for 2022. Go with God. Until next time, don't forget your tithes, offering seeds, and send it to the church phone number or mail it. We'll get it anyhow. Thank you for your support. Until next time, God bless you.